The next structure required in a topos is binary products, which are limits over the discrete category with two objects. Again, recall that limits in pre-sheaf categories are computed object-wise in the category of sets. Therefore, binary products in the category of pre-sheaves on C are binary products of each set of figures. The binary product in the category of sets is the Cartesian product. So given a set X with three elements and a set Y with two elements, we obtain the product of X and Y, which is the set with six, three times two elements. The projections we view as a vertical contraction to X and a horizontal contraction to Y. For set squared, given a container X with three and two elements in each compartment and a container Y with two and one elements in each compartment, the product of X and Y is the container with six, three times two elements and two, two times one elements in each compartment. Again, the projections are contractions vertically to X and horizontally to Y. Next, if we are given evolving sets X with four elements in a process which moves sequentially to the right before looping back from the fourth element to the second, and an evolving set Y with three elements in a process which switches between the first and second element but keeps the third element fixed, we obtain the product of X and Y with eight, four times two elements, and a process which zigzags in two threads between the first and second row before turning back to the second column and a third row which is a copy of X. The projections are still a vertical contraction to X and a horizontal contraction to Y. Next, if we are given a bouquet X with three flowers where the first flower has two petals, the second one petal, and the third with no petals, and also a bouquet Y with two flowers, the first with three petals, and the second with one. The product of X and Y is a bouquet with six, three times two flowers. The top row has a flower with six, two times three petals. The second with three, one times three petals. And the third with no petals, or zero times one petals. The second row is a copy of X. And the projections should look like vertical and horizontal contractions if I had enough room to draw them properly. For the category of graphs, given a graph X with four vertices and four arcs, and a graph Y with three vertices and five arcs, we obtain the product of X and Y with 12, four times three vertices, and 20, four times five arcs, where the source and target boundaries of the arcs are taken in each component of X and Y. Projections, again, are vertical and horizontal contractions. In the category of reflexive graphs, given reflexive graphs X with three vertices and six arcs, and Y with two vertices and three arcs, with the yellow arcs being the distinguished arcs, the product has six, three times two vertices, and 18, six times three arcs. Again, we have vertical projection to X and horizontal projection to Y as these contractions.